Um, today I'm going to talk about how to uh, play around with uh, ASP.NET V next, uh, also known as Project K. Um, you can, of course, download the ISO, uh, create a virtual machine, install it in there, and uh, uh, use it. But um, there's an easier way. I mean, for a very nominal price, you can actually um, use Azure virtual machines to play around with uh, the new CTP of Visual Studio. Here's the pricing model for Azure Virtual Machines. Um, the Visual Studio CTP actually uses the Medium A2. Um, it, it has two cores, 3.5 um, gigs of RAM. Um, it uses a standard instance, so it's uh, 0.18NR, so that's very reasonable. I mean, you don't have to re do any work, just uh, use the wizard to create a virtual machine, download the remote desktop file, and and you're up and running in less than uh, five ten minutes. Um, so uh, of course you can uh, you uh, uh, shut you always shut down your virtual machines once you're done. Whatever is thirty minutes, one hour, and, and you won't be charged at all. So that's the uh, very that's the advantage of using virtual machine off Azure and just delete it and never go back again. So uh, to get started, you go to Azure.com uh, and you land at this website. Uh, create. Uh, if you don't have an Azure account, just create one. If if you do, just go to um, portal um, and just sign into your account. Once you're signed in, uh, you go into the portal section of Azure where you have multiple options. Um, you can create websites, uh, mobile services, cloud services, and of course today we are interested in virtual machines. Once you go into the virtual machine uh, area, just go to uh, new. It'll ask you what kind of virtual, virtual machine you uh, you want. Today we'll create one from the gallery. In the gallery, you will already see something called a Visual Studio. Click on Visual Studio, and you will see that. Uh, um, an image of Visual Studio Pro, uh, Professional on Windows Server 2012 R2 is already created. That's what you want. Uh, go to next. You can create any machine name you want. Um, so let's call it um, uh, with your name and CTP. You can choose whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then Create a username. You have to remember this username um, because uh, this is what you will use um, later on to log in into the machine which uh, um, Azure creates for you. So once you uh, confirm it, go to next. Um, really, you don't have to change anything much. Uh, well, choose the nearest data center close to you. For me, it's West US. Um, nothing else really needs to change so you can just hit next um, on this screen also there's nothing really much you need to change all you have to do is hit complete and then um, it'll take a few minutes to set it up for you keep in mind that sometimes it takes up to five minutes uh, for Azure to allocate your uh, virtual machine uh, once it does, the running status, uh, just like here, uh, shows up. Uh, once it shows up, just select that and hit connect. Um, you will uh, receive a prompt, just say OK. And uh, Internet Explorer gives you another prompt, just say save. Um, once it is done, um, hit open. Click connect to the RDP prompt and then uh, hit use another account. And now this is, this is where you need to remember the user account you created before and the password um, and enter your username and password just like you created before you can hit remember and just say okay so it looks like it worked and then um, just hit yes on that prompt and then this will take you uh, this will RDP you into the virtual machine you just created this is a brand new Windows Server 2012 uh, R2 um, and when it starts up, Visual Studio 2014 CTP will already be 
ready for you. It takes a few minutes uh, for it to come up because it, it is a uh, brand new and you're logging in first time. Um, you can choose yes or no on that prompt. It doesn't really matter. See, and uh, there you have it. Um, on the desktop, you will see a shortcut to Visual Studio 14 CTP. Just double click on it. Visual Studio will start up. Um, once it starts up, it will already have all the new ASP.NET V Next Project K templates. In the wizard, it doesn't say Project K, but um, everybody refers to it as Project K because uh, seems like that's what they that's the that was the code name um, back when it got started. So we'll sign into it later. It doesn't really matter at this point. So this is all brand new Visual Studio questions. Uh, you may be used to it when you in install Visual Studio on your machine. Visual Studio takes a little bit of time to set it up. Keep in mind, Visual Studio also takes uh, uh, up to three or even four minutes uh, uh, to set it up. Um, you might have to sign sign in into Visual Studio. Um, seems like it's come some kind of a, um, license requirement. Once you sign in, Visual Studio will allow you to use Visual Studio. So. This is very familiar. This is the same old Visual Studio, the same old uh, start menu, hit new project. Once you hit new project, you, you can go to Visual C Sharp like we are used to. And then you will see some brand new templates um, where it will say V next in some of the templates. So we already have like uh, four, temp four templates for V next. Um, I'll quickly click on ASP V next web application and hit OK. Visual Studio will set up the solution for us just the way, just the way we are used to. Of course, the solution structure also looks very familiar, but then you will start seeing things like config.json, project.json. Um, we are already used to startup.cs. It started appearing recently, but uh, if you see references, you will see a single reference which you can drill down into uh, other references. So this is it. Um, so this is for me the easiest way to use, uh, to play around with uh, um, ASP.NET VNX. Your remote desktop, just um, um, close it. Once it is closed, don't remember to Once it is closed, don't remember to go back to your Azure portal and uh, click on your virtual machine and say shut down. Just say yes. And uh, there's no point in letting it run forever. I mean, this will just uh, charge you money. So if you if you're not using it just shut it down and uh, you don't have to pay a 24 hour bill uh, for something you're not using so that's the end of the video um, hope you feel that um, this is, this is this is way more easier than setting up your own motion own virtual machine on your own computer which takes a lot of resources and then installing Visual Studio in it.